All right, game number four of the official plays is Coastal Carolina and ULM, University of Louisiana, Monroe. ULM, the Warhawks laying three. The total is 140 in this game. Uh, Matty Cox, we're right back to you. A third official play on the show. I'm intrigued here. What are we? Are we on another side here, my friend? It, it's actually a very similar situation to the Oakland play. A team that just played four straight road games now comes back home with time to rep, prep, rest, prep. Excuse me. Um, and just a better spot. This UL on road team has been, I think, a lot better than people gave them credit for in the preseason. Uh, Keith Richards is a, you know, Keith Richard, excuse me, is a solid coach. Um, not to be confused with the guitarist, obviously, of, um, <laughs> of the Stones, but he, he's got a pretty good We're team. We're not sure it's, if Keith Richards could ever hit the 15-footer. He could definitely play the guitar, but keep going, yes. He, uh, and yeah, so Richards had a really nice shot with this team in conference play. I mean, just to win at Marshall and double OT uh, last week, and then they had to go to James Madison. Got beat there, but that's a brutal spot against a team in James Madison I really like, very talented. They come back home. Um I just think it's a good spot for them. They're playing Coastal Carolina, who's been a whack-a-mole team all year, very up and down, very erratic. They've had some guys that have been in and out of lineup as well. Uh, I just don't trust them, and I think this Yale Monroe team has some more upside uh, to run with their potential. Um, last year, they had a similar sort of um, season that was very roller coaster-ish. You could very clearly define the inflection points. I think this is one of those inflection points for the Warhawks here. So looking to back the home team, again, another thing I'm trying to ride with today, home teams played very well last night. I think you're starting to see um, you know, some of these home courts really um, you know, rise in value as you get some tougher travel schedule spots here. So ride with the Warhawks here, another short favorite at home. Uh, just to bring it up, uh, the atmosphere in Gainesville, Florida, about 90 minutes away, uh, once the Gators got rolling in the second half and the big seven-footer Castleton made a couple of plays, he made a couple of plays off the dribble, got an and one, made another play off the dribble and got another bucket. Uh, he blocked a shot at the other end and the place erupted and it was a factor in that game. Home court advantage can be uh, a factor. Then again, you look at Oklahoma State neutralizing Oklahoma for what it's worth or Pitt coming from behind to win at Carolina. You make your own momentum. You can yep. silence the crowd as well on the road, but I understand the point you're making, Matty. Uh, uh, Kyle Hunter, any quick thoughts here? Coastal Carolina, Louisiana, Monroe. Anything quickly here? Yeah, I mean, I don't have any strong opinion on this game. I do think that this one also fits as far as a team that played a tougher non-conference schedule. Monroe played some pretty good teams. Uh, you know, you see on the schedule, uh, TCU, Texas A&M, Tulane's a pretty good matchup. Even Sam Houston State is a really good team. So um, I agree. I was really impressed by that uh, win at Marshall. I think that was a ultra impressive win. They come into this game with more momentum than does Coastal Carolina, who, like Matt said, has been very inconsistent. So um, I don't have anything strong on this game, but I'll certainly be rooting for Matt here. All right, let's lock him in one more time on a side. Three sides today. For him, it's not even the holidays. He's going for extra sides. Uh, ULM lay the three. Matty Cox says in the Sun Belt. That is a 7:30 Eastern time, 6:30 local time. A game in Monroe, Louisiana, for a matchup in the Sun Belt tonight with Coastal Carolina. 